If you're familiar with indie horror games, you might have heard of Night of the Consumers. This is a fully fledged remake of the game in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Excuse me. Oh my god, it even has the quotes and the models as well. And it looks like it's gone black and white. So we've got a part here playing as Stoolinger, which is just oddly fitting for this. So the basic premise of Night of the Consumers is you're an employee at a retail store and the customers just chase after you and are constantly asking you for assistance and stuff. We've got my door, nice. We've got quick revive. We even got the little Jimmy's retail survival guide from the game over here. I want to buy quick revive immediately. Got some kind of like a Black Ops 4 SMG on the wall. Okay. And I think we have a music easter egg. So there's some kind of like bottle. Here it is. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh, that was close. Let's see if we can get some pews in. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. Oh god, a nuke. <laughs> oh, custom nuke sound effect too. Nice. Looks like power is over here. But yeah, in the game, you can actually use boxes and go into like the private staff rooms to hide from the customers. But yeah, the goal is to stack up each shelf and get it complete. This is the manager's office, 1250. I'm going to buy this gun first because we want to just have some way of surviving, you know? I'm assuming this is like an ascension type thing where if we turn the power on, uh, here we go. Oh yeah, here's the power. Here's the manager. But yeah, now all the lights have come back on. Can actually see what I'm doing. Let's go. Oh, insta-kill. Don't mind if I do. Knife, knife. Oh, we've got another bottle, the get out bottles. There were a bunch of hidden Easter eggs in the full game that they were like changed the labels of certain products to give really spooky stuff. It's one of my favorite horror games of all time, just because the whole aesthetic of it is just so cool. I see they haven't got Baldy here, unfortunately. Oh my God, hello. <laughs> there you've got the little the things on the wall, the uh, excellent rating. Excuse me. <laughs> Hearing that will never get old. I think this is one of their other games here, Flesh Birds. I think I remember like Markiplier playing it or something. All right, we've got one zombie left. Should I? I'm going to open the door. All right, welcome to the store. Oh, it's even got the music and everything. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Shut up. It's such a bop. It really is. It looks like we can pick up a cleaning box. So, from what I've heard, apparently you can pick up all of the boxes from all the aisles, like this one here. But you can't stack the shelves, at least yet. But we can use this box for something, and I want to work towards it. But first, I think I'm actually going to say screw it. I know the mystery box is over there. Really cool looking box as well from Black Ops 4. I'm going to go straight for Jug. Because this map is not easy. I have totally recorded a little bit of this before. But I had to restart because I just sucked. Got a double points though during the round. Let's go. Dum, da, dum, da, dum, da. Oh, it's such a bop. I'm not going to be able to concentrate. I need to actually buy some ammo. Let's just... Uh, Let's grab that real quick. Okay, we're fine. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, we've got a death machine. Death machine. <laughs> it's custom announcer. You're really putting in the effort. All right, you're the last one. All right. So if I remember correctly, I think Juggernog is over here. Yes, there we go. We've got a pack a punch part as well. I'm going to have to kill you. All right, bye, Jug. Another one of these for the music Easter egg. We've got a Spitfire on the wall. One of the best guns in BO4, so maybe we should actually pick that up. Oh, what's this? We've got, oh, another Pack-A-Punch part. That's two out of three. Apparently, this map has some stability issues. Like, over here, I know my, uh, my frame rate is going to be choppy. So if you have a lower-end PC, I don't think you'll be able to play this, sadly. But before we continue with today's video, let me quickly tell you all about the AMD Acer Nitro 5. This gaming laptop is exactly what you're looking for if you want to play video games on the go or even just in the comfort of your own home. It comes with a crisp 165Hz monitor, very sleek, it looks incredible, an AMD Ryzen 7 6800H CPU, an RTX 3070 Ti, and you can definitely tell because it really helps make the games run smoothly. Now the laptop itself is actually pretty quiet thanks to the high-end CPU. The only time the fans slightly whir up is when you're playing something and also charging at the same time. So just keep that in mind. But relatively, it stays quiet. It doesn't overheat. It's nice and temperate. The laptop actually comes with dual intakes, top and bottom, as well as dual fan cooling. So as long as you've not got the laptop on top of like a cushion or something, you should be perfectly fine. It's not going to get to a ridiculous temperature, unlike a lot of other laptops. It even comes with a quad exhaust port design for extra control. If you head on over to the AMD Acer Nitro Sense built-in application, you'll be able to control the fan speeds to make sure that they're up to your standards. 
as well as changing the lighting, I've got my keyboard to be like pretty much a rainbow, which is quite nice. And a bunch of other stats that you can monitor in here as well. It comes with a three millisecond response time. So when playing games, you can really notice it. It's pretty much instantaneous. Now, one thing that I'm actually a major fan of is the fact that the WASD keys, as well as the arrow keys have this glowing outline. So when you're playing a video game, you can actually see where the keys are that you use to move around. Something very subtle, but a nice addition to the laptop for sure. Overall, this is an incredibly solid gaming laptop. You definitely don't want to miss out on this. Click the link in the pinned comment down below or the first line of the description if you'd like to get your hands on this awesome addition to your gaming roster. But, oh, it's just, it's so cool. It really is. But yeah, now we have Jug. I just, I love the aesthetic. They've really nailed all of the aisles and everything. We've got the, the numbers. I might actually play the original game on my second channel, which, by the way, you should totally go and subscribe to. I'm not sure when I'm going to start uploading on it, but, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> this is what happens. Literally, this is exactly how yesterday's recording went. Can I please just not die? I think I ran out of ammo. I think that was the issue. Yes. All right. Quickly buy more! I'm red screened! Fucking hell. See what I mean? This map is not easy. Ooh. Oh, I love that it has the music in here as well for the uh, the intro sequence. Good God, dude. I'm going to shoot with the pistol so I can get more points. Really min-max this. Now, I actually have some gameplay recorded from yesterday, so I might upload that separately, perhaps? All right, give me the quick revive. Go away, lady. Okay, buy jug. Oh, God. Seeing them run around the corner and then say excuse me is kind of spooky. But I'm gonna buy the box. Just get something out of it because maybe we get a wonder weapon, you know? That'd be nice. Or an auger. Okay, it's semi-auto, right? Yeah. Bum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Need a hand? Ask one of our friendly colleagues for help. But they have such a creepy style. There was another game that the developer made. I think it was called Let's Find Jimmy or something like that. Or no, it's Larry. It's Let's Find Larry. That game is cool. Basically like Where's Wally or Where's Waldo if you're from America. But the uh, the cursed spooky edition. Bum, ba -bum, bum, bum. That's going to be stuck in my head all day now. Curse you game. As always, a link to the map will be in the description below if you want to play it for yourself and we are now out of ammo so is this any decent it oh my god it's like a one shot hell yes um i will take that double points uh i'll actually take it i was gonna save it for next round but knowing my luck there's probably actually like 20 zombies left or maybe not i don't know that was it. Okay, whatever. I mean, we got something out of it. All right, so we've got a door over here and then another door here, 1750. But yeah, we've got double tap in this corner. I'll pick this up as soon as possible. But we also have this wall here. We'll come back to this because it's a, a pretty cool secret. But if you've played the original game, you'll know exactly what it is. I don't know the best place to train because like... <laughs> It's not a very open map by any means. I'm actually going to pick this nuke up because I'm terrified. I really am. This game is, oh, it's not easy. But yeah, we'll pick up double tap. And as you can see here, press F to throw box at the wall or the at wall. <laughs> Let me just end the round real quick and then I'll show it. I remember watching the Corey Kenshin playthrough of this game. I hope he comes back real soon. He said he was going away for nine months and it has been nine months now. So we'll see. Pew, pew, pew. All right, is that the round? I don't know. I think, yes, you're the last. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Throw box at the wall. It's like slowly getting open. Ooh, spooky. And then we have the Pack-A-Punch in here, which we can craft. There's some kind of gas in the air that's damaging me, so I'm gonna run. Ooh. And then if we go back to the manager's office, I think, do we have, yes, press F to get fired. 50,000 points. That's the Bible ending, which we're going to get today. I don't care how long it takes me. I'm gonna do it. Bum, 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 It's still stuck in my head. Knife and knife. I mean, what do we want to do then? Do we want to save up the pack a punch? God, as I'm almost dying. Another insta kill? Knife, knife. Oh, we can actually just afford pap. I'm going to go and pack a punch the auger. This thing is, it's pretty good. All right, here we go. Do we have any kind of like music Easter egg things in here? Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting damaged. I'm going to leave. The Dead Man's Refracker. I only got 250 ammo or 240, but I mean, eh, you know, it, it's going to one shot, hopefully. 
right? Yeah. Okay, good. I would hope with double tap. Bum, 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 bum. I sure hope that song isn't copyrighted. I mean, I know it's from the original game, but probably fine. What's your favorite horror game? Let me know down in the comments section below if horror is even your thing. You know, I mean, I know it's not for everybody. I tend to watch a lot more horror than I actually play. But I do plan on changing that. So we've got another bottle up here. There are a lot we have to collect. I want to get as many as possible. Let's, um... What's over here? We can pick up more boxes, even though it says we already have a box. There are apparently little perk bottles we can find that will give us free perks, but I don't know where they are. I tried looking for them for ages last time, so if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I would assume one would be like at the front here, maybe? You know, it would make sense. What's that? A nuke? Not really what I want right now. God, just going around the corner and hearing all the customers. That's creepy as hell. Oh boy, they're, they're flanking me now. You know, I may get speed cola, to be honest. Oh god, there's so many of them. That's the problem. If you open all of these aisles, they can really flank you out of nowhere. So, um, might be good to just keep some of them shut, but I also want to get this music easter egg. Is Night of the Consumers fully done now? I think it is. This is a remake of Night 1, so we're not going to go into, like, the apartment or anything, I don't think. But pick up this box. I'm opening so many doors. Oh, that was the round. We open door 750. What? It's invisible. Okay, dude. Getting trolled. We have a door here. I suppose I'll open this. What's up? Tommy gun on the wall. Speed cola. Oh, fucking hell. That's actually so creepy. Every time you get hit, it plays the little stinger. Okay, it didn't that time, but... There we go, see? We got death machine. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, it's the Black Ops 4 death machine. That's cool. Doesn't look like we can turn it into the nuke version, but it's fine. I'm gonna spray the hell out of the uh, the ceiling and stuff. Maybe we accidentally shoot a perk bottle. That would be nice, but doesn't look like it. Anyway, let's uh, let's buy speed cola. You, all right? Oh, that was the round. Damn it! Oh, is that a perk bottle in there? No, that's like. What is that? It's a face! Who is that? What the heck? Well, I didn't notice that the first time I played. All right, open this door. What's up? And what about this door? And I've got another door here that I have to open that's invisible. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to focus on killing the zombies for now then, because I have not seen any hug bottles or anything like that. So, I mean, let's just try for the mystery box, maybe, or... Bum, bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. What other doors have we not opened yet? We've not opened this one. God, it's just... There's so many. Yeah, see? Now they're running this way, which is just not ideal. Um, let's use the Sorg. It's out of ammo. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to utilize it for the, uh, the insta-kill, but ignore that. Box. Q. Oh, hello. Ooh, that is terrifying. Jesus, man. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, I see a bottle over here and a box. Nice. Don't know how many we need, but we're collecting a lot, so... Oh, death machine. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I can interact with that one again. And this one. There might be a certain order. Interesting. Oh, God. I've, oh, I just instantly got down. I was too busy looking at the bloody baskets to see if there was a bottle in there. Oh, man. This is... Oh, this is not good. What do I get for holding out the, uh, the gun that doesn't have any ammo? Oh, shit. Oh, this is horrifying. I'm going to quickly buy Jug and immediately run out. Ooh. In both my attempts yesterday, I lost all Quick Revives. So, I mean, we're not doing that bad at least, but here we go. Quick Revive. This bottle. Get this one. I'm fully out of ammo. Okay, I'm going to go and buy the box. What did I get? A VKM? Sure. Yeah, there's a bottle I'm missing somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I, I feel like I've got all of them. Unless I'm tripping out. Oh, we're going to max. That's actually huge because I'm fully out of ammo, so I kind of like this map is difficult, though, because it is a horror game and it's meant to be a bit difficult. And to be fair, we're on round 15, so oh, that's the round. Nice. Get that double points nuke. Speed cola. Pick up double tap through the wall as well. Well, I mean, we're kind of set up now. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that bottle's interactable again. Very interesting. I don't understand that logic. <gasps> oh, a jug bottle down there. I wonder if we can shoot that. Is that actually found one? I mean, of course there's going to be one in that room. That makes total sense. Is there going to be one in here then, perhaps? Oh god, I'm getting myself in a real sticky situation. Oh, we've got the little the Teletubby look-alike thing. That's creepy. Um, what we got on here? Some guns? Any of these lockers can be shot open? No? Well, what happens if I shoot this bottle then? 
Oh, I got I got a free put. I got stamina up. Nice. Hey, I'll take that because to be honest, I need it really badly. 50k for the Bible ending. I don't think it's that bad. I've seen higher. So, I mean, could definitely be worse. And also the fact we have an LMG and now we have um, stamina up is very good. Excuse me. <laughs> Please help me. No, I don't want to help you. Did you, ever, did you ever think about that maybe? Oh, we've got another double points here as well. Wow. We're just getting uh, all the RNG right now. Let's just not die with a death machine. That would be really dumb. All right, I'm just going to say screw it. Get that. Wait for this to almost run out and then pick it up. We have 12,000 points. Holy shit. Oh my god, that head in there. What? His body. Oh boy. Oh, we've got a door here. Pick up this box. See, I'm picking up all of the bottles and it's asking me to re-pick them up. I don't really understand. Am I having a skill issue moment? It's definitely possible. All right, open this door. We'll pick up this box. <laughs> Ooh, fuck, hello. It actually does jump scare me. I'm not even kidding. Insta-kill. Ow, stop. Insta-kill. We're fine. we we'll just... Just shoot. Just keep shooting. I was so happy to see this map was made. Like, I go away for almost a week. I come back and we just have the most nostalgic horror game for me. Or one of the most nostalgic ones. Let's see if we can get something a bit better out of the box here. Like a... Oh, a Zwyander. This is actually one of the best LMGs we could get. I don't think we're going to have enough time to pack a punch it, but look at how fast this thing fires as well. And like little to no recoil. It's just a beam. Ooh, hello, excuse me. And that reload is quick as hell too. Let's go. Yeah, I think this is the play. I've not seen anybody beat this map yet. I've seen people play it. But I want to try and prove, but it's not too difficult. It's just... <laughs> You can get swarmed within a second. Oh, another double points. Let's go. That's actually massive. Now, I want to ideally leave one. Are you last? No, is it you? No, we've still got a few. Okay, and now. <laughs> I've said that so many times. Okay, anyway, moving on. Pack a punch. I'm going to just kill the zombie just so I don't get stuck. Okay. We have these, like, locked doors, which I don't know what they do. There's another one over here, which we can't get into. We've got this door here as well, which would be an interesting... Can we, like, grenade it? And we've got one over here. Hello? Who knows? But we have got a very good gun. Let's just run. Let's just, let's just go. Working in retail is pretty much horror. That's why I really love these types of games, because they, they are genuinely scary if, I don't know, I guess anxiety and stuff like that, having to deal with customers constantly asking you to do to, to, for help and stuff, and you might not know. It could be like your very first day on the job, like right now, and you've just got thousands of people asking. Like, I remember outside there, you could actually see the customers, and they looked like zombies. That's why I really love that this has been made into a map, because it's just, it's weird quite fitting. Also, we're now at 25,000 points, so halfway there. We only have a few more doors to open, like this one. Is there like... Uh, come on, there's gonna be a perk hidden under there, maybe, would make sense. Like, am I really just blind? I haven't seen a single one. We've got, we've got this door here. Anything? Another door here. Another box. I mean, I don't know if we get something for picking up all the boxes. I imagine not, but... I suppose I may as well. There's going to be one hidden between a wet floor sign. I could totally see that happening. <laughs> Just the, the sound of, of customers begging for detention right now. Ooh, did I say detention? I meant to say attention. But anyway, we got Insta. Opening all those doors only set me back by about like a thousand points to be fair. Or like two thousand, so... Not bad. This just really proves that the zombies community is carrying the zombies community, really. I mean, the devs are not the ones making all the cool products. It's it's just the fans. And it's kind of, it's bittersweet, I guess, is the word, because I love it. But the people who originally made it are also sucking. So, oh God, I don't want to, I do not want to go down. Please, there we go. Bum, 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 bum. Surely there would be one tucked away in here. You're telling me this isn't like the best hidden spot you could possibly imagine. Somewhere like between one of these gaps? I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna spray all of them. Maybe there's something. <laughs> I'm just wasting ammo at this point. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, what's that? Double? <laughs> a gremlin voice. Another death machine. To be honest, I kind of don't want to pick it up. The death machine is not as strong as I was hoping it would be. Definitely don't want to pick that new cup though. Oh, they're spawning in the ground? Christ. There's only so much I can deal with. Oh, double the whatever. I'll just get both. We have indeed opened up every single door on the map though. At least the ones you can purchase anyway. So I just if there was a bottle hidden behind the box, that would be a cheeky place. Should I go for one spin? Maybe we get, like, a wonder weapon. I think there's a thunder gun in the box, which would be kind of cool, but 
Uh, Rampage. I'm good. Shotguns aren't bad, but screw it. I'm going for this music easter egg one more time. If you have to do them all on the same round or something. Oh, God, this is going to be scared. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, fuck. That was a real close one. Holy shit, Max. Okay, I've gotten literally all of them. Fairly certain I'm not missing any, so I really don't know what I'm actually missing. So, anyway, other than the music easter egg being bugged, what do you guys think of this map so far? Fucking love it, to be honest. We're only 5k away from the viable ending. I didn't realize we were that close. Nice. Oh god, hello. There's always one sneaking up behind me. There we go. Round done. Dun, 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 dun. Let's have a look under here. Anything? Someone on the Steam work page said they found three perk bottles. Literally how? Where? Oh, there we go. That's the 50k. Okay, let's actually buy the box then. What are we getting? A rampart. It's just nice knowing that I can literally just end the game whenever I want to. Oh, and a max. Huge. I love that it actually reloads your gun as well. Very nice. Spraying down all of the the the, uh, the aisles. That's the word. Should I shoot this one again? No. I'm gonna interact with like everything. See if there's anything in here. I guess would be somewhere in there. Maybe. I'm gonna just throw some grenades. See if that helps. Potentially, we throw one on a random perk. Or I just absolutely waste them and make crawlers and then my life becomes so much more difficult. Did I just see one on the floor? No, I don't think so. I thought I saw one by the, um, the checkers or whatever. The checking machine? The money checkers? What are they called? The tills? God, my brain. Oh god, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually going to die. I'm actually going to die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was close. This is what I mean. The death machine's deceptively bad. Another double points. Let's go. Look, some semi-autos in, in COD Zombies are just absolute machines. All right, another box spin. What are we getting? What are we getting? I do see that Thunder Gun in there. Would be nice to get the Spitfire. I love the semi-auto, but you know what? Let's try it. Because this gun is very fast firing, which is the only downside. Because it will go out of ammo very quick. And I should also stop using it mid-round, because I'm going to die. Oh, God. Are there any boxes I didn't pick up? I don't think so. Pretty sure we got them all. Just gonna pew all of the aisles. What's up? How's it going? I'd rather be judged by 12 than Oh god, I'm actually down. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. We have a nuke literally right here. That's kind of perfect case scenario. Alright, I've got that. Now I'll instantly I'm gonna go and buy Ooh, I'm going to go and buy jug. I will not fail and die when I literally have enough for the viable ending. No chance. In fact, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna literally go and buy it right now. I got fired, let's go! Oh, we actually managed to beat it. So I'm gonna put some failed attempts at the end of this video if you wanna keep watching. If not, thank you for getting this far. But yeah, enjoy. It's it's literally a one-for-one -one replica of the game. They've even got the puke in the right place. <laughs> I watched Markiplier and Corey Kenshin play this. But um but um but um the OST is one of my favorites in the in any indie horror game or game in general, to be honest. We've got a mystery box over here. What's up? What have we got in here for me to pick up? I see a thunder go- <laughs> First spin! Alright, well, fair enough, as I'm somehow almost dying with it. Let's not. Oh my god! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm having a skill issue. So I'm guessing this is part of the Noah J456 contest thing going on right now where you remake a bunch of video games into zombies maps which i am all for i love it i may play the full game on my second channel when i eventually come to it so be sure to subscribe to the fp channel if you'd like to see that in the near future i haven't fully decided like on a, a determined username yet for that channel but yeah for now that's what it's called can we actually pick up this box we can pick up cleaning box oh my god it works the exact same where is the cleaning aisle home cleaning here so can I actually, can I, can I do this? Where, where would it be? I don't know, maybe I just need to pick up the boxes. Maybe that's it. Okay, where is the power switch? Oh, we've got like doors over here. What's in here? We've got, oh, this is where the secret wall was. Press F to throw box at wall. Mmm. And it opens. This is like the Pack-A-Punch room. Why am I getting damaged? What's happening? Ow. I guess it is like a bricked off room. But anyway, there's another door over there. Staff only room. So to avoid the customers, you can either throw boxes at them to prevent them from interacting with you. Or you can go into the staff rooms and wait for them to run away. The chasing and stuff gets real freaky. The constant excuse me. It's really just like the game. <laughs> I love it. So door here. Is this where power is? There we go. Is that the manager? 
Oh my god, it is. Oh, fuck, hello. Things on the wall, guns. Oh my god, and I'm red screened again. Can we not? Oh god, reload. Reload. Finally, I can see everything now. But yeah, the map actually looks like the map now, which is nice. I just, I love the fact that all the zombie models are different as well. They're all the different customers from the game. You've even got the old lady, you got this guy, the old lady again. Oh god, I'm almost dead. I'm dead, fuck. <laughs> what just happened to my audio? Oh my god, do not pick up multiple drops at once, apparently. If it wasn't for the power being on, I wouldn't even know that the mystery box had a red light above it. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, here we go. You already have a box. Oh, interesting. I just picked up another box, though. I love having a shotgun and, of course, the thunder gun, but it's not really the best for points I could do with a full auto gun. All right, here we go. Quick revive time. Oh, I got a death machine. I guess there's that. So I have some way of getting uh, points, I guess. Nice. Do we have a full auto gun somewhere I could buy? A Tommy gun. Oh, let's go. That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Now I can actually earn points as well. Cool. I hope we see more horror games made into zombies maps because it would just be, it would make my day. It really would. Craft a pack of punch. Oh, I've got to craft it in there while the smoke is killing me. How am I meant to do that? Oh God, every time I go around a corner, it's just, excuse me. It really is faithful to the game in that way. Oh boy, I've got nowhere good to train really. It's kind of, oh, this is not it. Oh my God. This one's video games. All right, I'll pick this one up it's because I know for, for a fact uh, this one is gonna be aisle 11 so this is the video game one right what, what what do i do i have the video games do i have to interact without actually like knowing like i'm not tripping do i just have to pick up every single box is that it i think it might be you know i think i'm overcomplicating it it'd be really cool if you had to pack the stuff yourself maybe they'll add that in a future update but for now i mean pretty cool Excuse me. God, it's terrifying. Please help me. Give me the box. Give me the box. Give me the box. I'm stuck. Ah! All right, we're good. Get that box. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. I'm just I'm having to scan every single one to make sure. No, I think we got them all. Okay. Now, what does that do for me? There's got to be something in one of these rooms. I, I want to check out the staff rooms, but we're going to need to um wait until the end of the round, I think. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just seeing 50 zombies around the corner. Oh, sorry. Customers. Let's go and quickly pack a punch the, I guess, the Tommy gun. Because we don't really need to pack a punch the uh, the thunder gun yet. All right, here we go. I'm being damaged. Please don't kill me. Just got to slowly dip out of there. All right, speakeasy time. I love how the customers, they kind of get stuck here sometimes, which is interesting. Oh my god, I got instantly just slapped around by them. This is horrifying. This is- I, I might actually die here. I don't think I can survive this. Oh god. I've got to quickly go in here and grab Jug and run, run out. Oh my god. The horde is coming. Alright, that cleared most of them out. Phew. Alright, we got an insta-kill. Oh, I'm almost dying. Alright, let's grab that. Bye, quick revive. Okay, we're back on track, kind of. Are you the last one, the little granny? Let's go. Alright, let's buy a double tap again. Oh, hello. Hello, zombies. Okay, the speakeasy is kind of putting in some work right now. I want to pack a punch that thunder gun, just so we don't have to reload after every two shots. Oh my god, that was almost a death. Just give me, give me the nuke. I didn't get the nuke! No! Oh, I... I was literally right next to it. I thought I hugged it, but whatever. Oh, it's fine. I'll get it right now. And I'll just go and pick up a jug again. I suppose it could be worse. It's kind of nice, though. We only have, like, four perks on the map. Feels very bare bones, but it's it's kind of... It's welcoming, almost. Oh, our quick revives are all gone. Oh, shit. Am I real? I'm on three downs already. Oh, can we survive this? I don't know. Now, this map does actually have some stability issues. You can't actually play it on low-end PCs, which... It's fair enough, but yeah, I'm definitely noticing some frame drops, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, I've got a pretty beefy PC, so hopefully it looks good on the recording. It should do. I mean, it's probably dropping to no less than 70 or 80 frames, so wouldn't even be noticeable on the YouTube video. Oh, we've got a death machine here. What's up? Hello. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. <laughs> We're not getting any perks. It's tragic. Oh, what's that? You thought I was done? Hell no. I want to find those perk bottles and see if they actually give us the perk. See a bunch of like T-posing customers and stuff, which is cool. Also, it is kind of nice because now I know where everything is, so it's a lot easier. I mean, there was literally power symbols to this manager's door, and I just somehow didn't notice. 
I guess it was the black and white, maybe. So yeah, we're going to go in there immediately. Boom. And turn on the power. Nice. Interact with this bottle. Oh, hello. I can see through that wall. Now, I don't see any perk bottles in here. This would kind of be the perfect place, you'd think. Oh, God. I'm actually... Uh, I am stuck in the corner. We got double points. Nice. Start of the round. Actually quite convenient. At least ammo is only 500 points. I suppose there's that. I imagine a lot of people will have stopped watching now because I died and obviously restarted the game. But you know what? Why not do a second run? We've almost got like, we've got, we've got 5,000 points already. So off to a very good start. Yeah, I think we're actually down to, oh, we've got a death machine. Okay. I'm going to say we're down to like the last few zombies. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll open this now. So, I'm going to spin the box once, and then I'm immediately going towards Jug. Pick up Halloween box. So, we only need to pick up one box, really. But I got a Hitchcock. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I have to open this door. What? I got scammed! I'm going to open a second door. Okay, dude. I would have had enough to buy Jug as well if it wasn't for that. But whatever. All right, interact with that one. Oh, God, hello. Oh, God, don't get me stuck. Don't get me stuck. I'm dead already. <laughs> I suck. It's a good thing I didn't buy Jug yet, I suppose. Like, there is that silver lining. Hitchcock isn't actually bad, though, to be fair. It's putting in some damage. All right, now I'll buy Jug. Oh, just, uh, nothing but a skill issue right there. Oh, my, my second quick revive already? Good job, me. I don't know where to be looking for these perk bottles, though. You'd think it'd be down the drinks aisle. That would make the most sense, right? Let's give it a look-see, shall we? Any perks? I guess I can stand on the box. That helps. Um, anything on top of these shelves? I don't know. I'm not seeing Jack Diddley. Am I being lied to? Are there actually perks? Okay. I really need a gun as well. Oh, God. Excuse me. I just... It's living in my head rent-free. I'm never going to be able to unhear that now. I'm dead again. I'm dead again. This map is destroying me. I think it might actually be harder than the original game, but that would be putting my money where my mouth is, of course. Whatever. Bye, Jug. Is there a bottle in here? No? See, this would be like the perfect place for it, you'd think. Whatever. I'm spinning the box. Give me something decent. I got a... a oh, a Mog 12. I'm already out of quick revives again. Oh my god. What did I do to deserve this, man? Oh, thank god I got that nuke. I probably would have died. It's quite cool, though, because all of the stuff on the shelves, like this is a, as a game that they actually made, Flesh Birds. I think I saw Markiplier play that. Kind of creepy, though. Just a bunch of, like, human-eating birds that just fly around and chase after you. Backed into a corner with a shotgun that reloads very slowly. What's that drop? Double points. Actually doesn't do too much for me right now, but it's nice. Except it's the end of the round. Oh, just typical. Oh, I've got an insta-kill. I can't reach it. I have to reload. Oh my good lord, how am I alive? I've got to go this way. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I'm not good. I'm good. I'm not good. Oh, it's just a roller coaster of emotions, man. Well, I can afford Jug, even though... <laughs> This map is actually so difficult. It's because it's so tight. There's nowhere to really camp and I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't even have enough for the box. Oh, brilliant. Couldn't buy it even if I wanted to. What's up, zombies? All right, now I can spin it. Please give me something really quickly because I, I need it. <laughs> the Sorg again. Oh, that's great. That's brilliant, that is. I guess it's something I can use, but... Maybe that's the play. Maybe I have to, like, train them all the way around the outskirts of the, uh, the shop. Oh my god! Oh, that was actually terrifying. They said nothing as I went around the corner and then immediately hit me with the excuse me. Well, at least I can get points with this. Doesn't mean I'll survive. Okay, we're good. Well, my Hitchcock is out, so I might as well hit the box again. What did I get? A Cordite. Okay, something usable. That's good. What about now? Give me a Grav. Okay, actual good guns. I only took my last life and practically being on my deathbed to get them. Oh god, and now I'm stuck in a corner. Ooh, please. All right, we're fine. What a horrifying experience, dude. Excuse me. I've got to reload in a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Gravy. We're somehow still alive. They're spawning behind me and everything. All right. I can actually escape. I can get out. 50k for the viable ending, man. That's going to be a while. I can open this door and I can buy double tap at least. Immediate damage boost. Going to help. Just throw the box at this real quick. Bash, bash, bash. Open up. 
Please, any second now. There we go. I wonder if they don't spawn when you're in the staff room. Is that actually a thing? I would assume not, but, well, who knows? Oh no, they come in here, all right. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was safe. What a funny joke that would have been. Well, we can now afford a pack a punch, which is good. I think, yeah, we don't want to open up all of these aisles. It just gets too hectic, because then you don't know where they're running down. Oh, double points. Let's go. Actually big? Oh god, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck. All right, that's gonna pretty much do it for this. <laughs> An absolutely awesome map. If it gets updated, I'll be sure to play it again. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it and I'll see you in the next one.